Hi there. So I am continuing on with my comparison of the Briggs and Riley Spinner Global 21 inch versus the um, Global 21 inch, just the two wheel one. So it doesn't have the this, the four wheels. It just has two. There. These are both 2024 bags. Um, we really like the. The way they've uh, made these bags, they're just so top-notch quality. So I've already packed mine. <clears throat> We're going on a five-day trip. You might not think it's enough stuff, but oh, it's plenty for me. <clears throat> anyway, let's get started. I have already packed the 21-inch uh, Global, not the non-spinner, which has just a little bit more room, maybe three-quarters of an inch. Um, this is the spinner. So here's where that one ends. It has just a little bit more because it only has uh, two wheels. It doesn't have the, the spinning wheels like this one. So I will take it out and we'll try and get it to fit into the, uh, into the spinner and show you if there's any difference. But I still have plenty of room. I haven't even compressed this. Um, and uh, I haven't put anything up here or behind there. Um, what is this? I take that because I like to, if I have room, um, I use this to kind of compress things sometimes before and after. So let's get going here. We'll see what we've got here and then I'll try and put it all back in. This is going to be one-handed. These are, I've actually got a pair of shoes I'm wearing on the trip. These are just um, nice uh, ASICS uh, sneakers. That's my um, t-shirt. Uh, undershirt for a formal t-shirt, dress shirt, belt, five pairs of socks, five pairs of underwear. Um, I'm going to have, I got to put in one, one pair of slacks, one more pair of slacks. I'll either have two or three for this trip. I'm going to have a black pair. So that's a pair of slacks, sweatpants, gym shorts, um, this is a t-shirt. This is a golf shirt style. Another golf shirt. And then I've got a kind of a wool or cotton pullover. I'm wearing it. I'm basically wearing one of the outfits so that it's gonna it's gonna work, you know, crossover for like a couple days. Nice pair of walking shorts. I do not know the temperature where we're going, Montreal, but it's in August. It it might be pretty warm. Two dress shirts, as you can see here, and uh, another t-shirt, and then that is a rain jacket that can kind of double as a, you know, an outer jacket. Temperature is going to be cooperative. I think that's plenty. So let's get it to go back into the new. Spinner. Now the spinner is empty. I'm going to pack it in order to do this and then we'll take a look again. Okay, so far I've got about half of the stuff put back in. It's, uh, it's just a little bit tighter. I don't, you know, if I started packing this first, I wouldn't care, but I did notice it just a little bit. I okay, put the pair of casual slacks in, pair of sweatpants, and I'm wearing a pair of black pants and a gray pullover also. I like gray. It's very, works good with black, um, and yet it's a lighter color. This is the gym shorts. They can pretty much squash up anywhere. Let's see what else we got here. Uh... Got to get the uh, t-shirt in here. Then the um, the underwear. I want to put it this way this time. And another t-shirt. Which I had at the other end last. And the other one. Put in my shoes. These are sneakers. I, I wear size 8. I realize that people are bigger than me. If you have big shoes, I'm sorry. But they'll stretch, obviously, about two or three inches longer than that big. 
big honking feet. Let's see what else. Um, put this back in. You can see everything. Maybe I'll go with the way I had it. But you can see everything is fitting in fine. It's not any issue here. I wrap them in uh, plastic. It kind of compresses the shoes. The other thing I put in here was um, a day pack, which I don't know if I'm going to use. I may I may decide against it, but I just wanted to kind of see how things fit. Next thing I'm going to do is Briggs and Riley has a really nice kind of just holds things in place. This uh, strap system, and it does stretch out pretty far, so this uh, strap will come about another three inches. Um, looks like actually one, two, about three and a quarter closer to this. And then it kind of holds everything down. I have not put anything up here. There's plenty of room up here you could uh, put in here. And then, of course, it has this expansion system where as long as you're not putting something that can be damaged by crushing down, you can put it in clothes and then compress it down. I will. It will not be necessary. Okay, so now we've got this... Uh, all everything compressed down or held in place, I should say, by this uh, kind of this strap system that has this mesh. I like this. It's uh, one thing I will tell you, I think everyone understands this. Since the handle is up here on this side, don't try and try and keep the weight distribution e either completely as close to equal as you can. And if you're going to place heavier things in here, don't place them near the top of the handle. Place them either middle or towards the bottom. Because when you pull, when this thing's leaning or it's on an angle, the, the weight will be at the bottom as opposed to being top heavy, which will tend to topple your, um, could topple your, your bag. So weight distribution, um, Making it crazy heavy one one side or another or top or bottom is not a good idea. But again, favor the favor the bottom towards the wheels. Um, uh, you can put shoes back there down there, perhaps. But anything heavy that's going to be up near the top is going to create create a, a a bag that's imbalanced and possibly will topple over. So here we go. We'll we'll, we'll um, zip this up. You can see got. Plenty of room, even with the spinner, for all of this. I'm going with the two wheel. My wife is thinking about the spinner. We have not traveled yet with them. We're trying to. We do have Briggs and Riley bags or a bag. We we have experience with the bags um, over the years. We really like the uh, fact that it's lifetime warranty. This bag has really nice features. It has the handles on the sides. Um, and on the bottom, it, it only has a handle on the si on one side, I should say, top, side, and bottom, which are very convenient. And then it's got a, a nice extendable handle. Seems very solid. A little bit, you know, they all wiggle a little bit. Really nice. Everything fit in here, great. This is again a five-day trip. I will take a personal item bag which will kind of have some carrier electrical cords. Um, my uh, hygiene kit will go with me on my personal item bag. It's a really nice little bag that can, you know, can do an overnight trip. It's that nice. It's made by Gonex, G-O-N-E-X. And uh, if I get a chance, I'll do a review of all both bags together. But um, anyway, I'm happy with... Uh, with how it fits in this bag. The only thing I will say on this um, Briggs & Riley, when it came, it had this, I think it'll probably, you know, over time come out, but I don't know if it was the way it was sitting in the box or what. It has kind of a ripple here. It, there's no um, abrasion or anything like that, but it's probably just because it's been, it was sitting uh, with papers and stuff inside of the, they, they put that in there. This is a really keen, right here you've got a 
I think this is for a, I'm not positive, for an iPad or something like that. I probably won't use that on my, on my bag. Both bags are identical other than the, um, just a little bit, like a three quarter inch different or one inch different size. Here's the front pocket, nice and wide opening. You can get in here. You could put lots of things in here. You could put a sweater in there. You could put your laptop. You could put your iPad. It's a quick convenience thing. Of course, the main compartment, which is what we were in. And I did not show the, uh, like this area here, but it, this is uh, identical, so I'll show it to you. I did take the suit hanger thing out. I, I'm not going to use it this trip. But you have this whole area here. You could put in a pair of slacks, um, a suit. You could put in all sorts of things. Um, you just have that in the whole room. You could, put in, you could probably put in some documents or something like that. It has a strap system. It also has a kind of a quasi-hanger thing here. But the, the piece that I took out, you can fold it nicely and then it keeps everything nice and pressed. You, you've probably seen those. There's, there's not much difference other than the fact the the one fail to me that they should have done with this maybe it's not a fail but I always think you should be able to take things out like this and for them to make it permanent to me is uh, I would say is not the right decision I think that they sh this should come out whether it's velcro or whether it's um, a zip all the way across I just I don't get why they made it like a more of a permanent thing when it's pretty easy just to have a zipper in there and then just have this, you know, large cavernous thing. You could still have a, you know, double strap here perhaps um, or a crisscross type of strap. I really like this. I think this is uh, pretty darn neat, pretty good quality. That's it. If you have any questions, let me know. But I just, I think people want to know, does the two-wheel hold more than the spinner? And it's probably going to be negligible. Um, they, both can, they both can expand. I have not expanded mine for my trip. What I mean by that is these things can pop up you, you hit this and you pull up and it comes up about that far you put your clothes in and then you push down on everything and everything locks back into place at this height so yes it can expand and then you can push down on it if you really need to crunch it but it all depends on what you're putting in there Briggs and Riley I think really did a great job with this bag